Hey everyone, it's Steve here the DJ Lab. Taking a look at the Denon DJ Prime 4 running Serato DJ 3.0 Beta. And want to show you a little tip here about taking these two buttons here and mapping them for the uh, instrumental and in acapellas. So this is real simple. All you got to do is go up there on that little gear icon, right? Go over to your MIDI, click on the Prime 4, and then go in there and allow Serato hardware remapping. Take that thing off. You want to go over to the top there. You see where it says MIDI? You click that and you literally just, uh, well, let's get back up there for a second. Click up there on the little microphone. That's your acapella. Click the button. I've already done it. And then uh, you'll go over here and hit me for the instrumental. Click the other button, which I've already done. When you're done that, you go over, turn off the MIDI, and this is what you're going on. I've already done this side as well, too. You have to do each side, obviously. And um, you got your instrumental and your acapella. Hey, don't and rock, don't and rock, don't and lean, don't and lean, don't and lean. It's so damn hard, you break the screen with it. Put up your jeans with it. Slow it, slow it, slow it, slow it, slow it, slow it. Couldn't remember which one did the echo out there for a second. Uh, but yeah, that's it. If you have any comments, you have any other suggestions on what buttons you would use to map out for the instrumental and acapella, feel free to leave them below and share with the rest of us. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit that alert button, wherever it is, it's somewhere. And um, I'll pop out new videos each and every day until we wait for the final release of Serato 3.0 in a nice stable condition.